and welcome to another video. This is the ELT327 and uh, we've done a review of this car diagnostic tool uh, not so long ago. But uh, last time our test car, the car that we are driving now, didn't have any uh, fault lights illuminating so we couldn't really test to see if the codes are uh, properly read and uh, if we can delete them. So what we'll do today? We will just uh, reconnect this device to the car's OBD port. Uh, we will use the Torque mobile app to scan the car and uh, hopefully we can uh, we can find the car fault codes because uh, several days ago while driving this car had uh, three warning lights illuminating on the dashboard so uh, we didn't check it until now. Let's see what uh, what we discover and hopefully it will not be very expensive. Okay, so um, first of all, I will apologize for the reflections because uh, it is quite bright and uh, I'll try my best to record in such a way as you will understand. Uh, but uh, the point is we have the ELT327 car diagnostic tool connected to the OBD port of the car. And uh, once you connect it, the device will automatically power itself on. So you have nothing else to do from that uh, perspective. Then you have to open the Bluetooth on your uh, mobile phone and uh, if you go under settings and again in Bluetooth you will see the OBD device. Now in our case the device is uh, already paired with the mobile phone because uh, we have done these steps last time when we recorded the previous video so uh, we don't have to redo those, those steps. So with the device already connected to the mobile phone, what we have to do is just turn the engine on. So as you can see, you have the engine light illuminating, well fuel light as well. Hopefully I can erase that and uh, refill my tank just from pressing a button, but I doubt it will work. So what we'll do is uh, open this Torque mobile app. It wants to see our location, wants to connect to GPS, so on. So once we are connected, we have to go under fault codes. And uh, we have to wait a little bit while uh, the device uh, will scan the car. And uh, if you haven't done so already, you can check the previous video and it will explain uh, step by step how to pair the device and how to set up and so on. So for now we have to wait and I remember this is quite a long wait. But hopefully it will return the, the fault code. Okay, so almost there. So it says that we have some issue related to the airflow circuit range. There's a performance problem. Okay, so I'm not really sure what this is all about. Uh, we have a code over here and uh, I can look this code on the internet. Okay, so we have an option here and, and I wish this would be clearer. Okay, so we actually have uh, the option to look it up on the internet, but I will do it uh, separately. For now, what I want to do is just clear this code. So I will just go to, to this part with more options and I can just clear the fault. It says that we shouldn't do this unless we fix the problem and we shouldn't ignore it and so on. So, of course, we will uh, go to a mechanic later on. But for now, we'll just clear the code. It appears that uh, the fault has been removed. It is still on the dashboard. So what I will do, I'll just switch the engine off.
and I will try to see if it's still there. Well, what do you know? The fault is still there. I'm happy to say that uh, I've identified the problem with my engine fault light and uh, it was a very very simple thing I overlooked so I will show you uh, this is the torque mobile app I'm going under faults while it scans I will tell you that previously the problem was uh, very very simple I was trying to delete the engine fault codes while the engine was running so apparently you can't do that it's impossible to delete any codes with uh, the engine running so what I had to do I had to switch off the engine while keeping the ignition on and uh, this is when I could uh, safely delete the code I will switch on the engine as you can see the uh, engine fault light is gone sadly my uh, fuel indicator is still on so I couldn't get that to go away I have to find a different fix for this one and um, this is how you identify and you clear a fault until next time thank you for watching and uh, if you have any questions if I can help you with any advice uh, I'm always uh, trying to learn and to have new information so feel free to leave a comment and probably I will be able to answer so wish you a good day. Thank you for watching.